What's up, Legends? Join us for another Pokemon card hunt. We're gonna check out Walmart first. Let's go. All right, what do we have? Oh, we actually have quite a bit today. These tins. I don't know if that tin is new. Got these three packs, Vivid Voltage and Fusion Strike. Got some Darkness Blaze, ETBs, Lunchbox tin, Lucario V tin. Of course, Shining Fates, can't go wrong there. Pokeball tins, wow. We definitely hit the jackpot here. Oh wow, I didn't even realize this is the Mewtwo V Union box. And we also have the Greninja V Union as well. So I just looked up some information. I feel like these are actually old tins. I think they're the Kanto Friends tins. Not sure what's inside, but it's probably something older. Mostly finding the Squirtle and the Eevee ones. Yeah, we probably should get these. Well, some very nice first store magic. I'm hoping there's some good packs in here. And of course we could quit the hunt now, but I think we're gonna check out at least one more store, maybe two, we'll see. Let's go. All right, well, it's looking like we didn't really get much of a restock at this one. But I see we do have this. Okay, here we go. We got a little bit, some chilling rain blisters, evolving skies, battle decks, and these little mini portfolios. All right, let's check back in the toys. Okay, more Dark Displays ETVs. Hoopa V. I feel like these are new, Flapple and Eevee. And we do have the Galare Power Tins, which is a good pickup. It has Cosmic Eclipse in it. Well, some pretty good stuff here as well. But we definitely did better at our first Walmart. But there's also a GameStop over here, so let's go check that out. Not sure if you saw that, but they still had Shining Fates ETBs. They had about four behind the counter, so it's pretty cool. But I do still have some back at home, so I think we'll hold off on that for now. I think maybe we have one or two more stops before we can head back home and open up what we got today. All right, I think for our last stop, we're gonna hit up Dollar General. The girl actually remembered me and just started uh, pulling out the Pokemon cards before I even said anything. So I'm not sure if you could see it on the camera, but there was just uh, some short sword and shield blister packs and a Snorlax tin. So I'm going to pass on that right now. Well, I know I said that this would be our last store, but um, I do actually want to check out Target really quick. And uh, then I think that'll be it. guys well i finally pulled the trigger and i actually got a digimon box and i've been talking about it for some time so i'm pretty excited to open this up uh, i'm not sure if we'll do it today or not but we definitely will soon if not today i also got a three pack blister from brilliant stars which i always think is a great value but yeah guys let's go back and open some of this stuff up 
And we are back. Thanks so much for joining us on The Hunt. And if it is your first time joining us, my name is Luke. And after 20 years, I got back into collecting Pokemon cards to chase that feeling of nostalgia from my childhood. So I invite you to come along the journey with me by hitting that subscribe button. But I'm super excited to open up these tins uh, to see what's inside, we'll see what packs we have, because like I said, they are an older product from about three years ago, actually. So we'll see if they still have some old packs in there, or maybe they've re repackage them with some newer packs. We'll find out in just a moment. And then guys, you're gonna have to humor me today because I actually do wanna open up this Digimon gift box. Um, some of you may know that um, I actually do love Digimon. I watched the anime as a kid and I have a few of the cards as well. Um, and actually these cards in this box from what, what I understand is actually kind of a reimagining of the 90s cards that came out. So. Yeah, guys, we're going to open this up first and then we'll get into our tins. Let's go. Now, if you're like me and you also kind of grew up with Digimon, you know, this is the set I think that you'll want to start off with as well. Um, just to kind of get your feet wet like I'm doing because it does contain what's called the classic collection packs. So like I said, these are reimagining of uh, old cards, the old artworks. Um, but it kind of fits the newer Digimon TCG, which is actually fairly new. It kind of came out, I believe, in 2021. Um, so yeah, I would almost kind of equate this set to um, evolutions for Pokemon. It seems like they were really trying to do something similar here by kind of almost drawing people back into this brand new card game by exposing people to those old artworks, which can be very nostalgic if you did collect those cards. And honestly, even if you didn't collect the cards, uh, like me, I didn't collect a bunch of the cards, but I did have a few, which I'll have to maybe show on one of these videos pretty soon, because um, it was kind of in my big collection with all my Pokemon cards that my mom found. So yeah, I think this will be pretty fun. This uh, box was $25, so you know, you're kind of talking Five dollars a pack, five dollars for this promo right here, which is honestly super cool. Uh, War Greymon, I remember, was Agumon's. Um, I don't know, like I forget. Like they had different kinds of evolutions. Like they didn't evolve from one to the other. Usually, Agumon would evolve to like Greymon, and then Greymon would be like evolved to Metal Greymon, and then also War Greymon. So they had like little different forms, which was pretty cool. Oh, and very interesting. So I'm noticing that this is a very glossy card. So very different from what we're used to seeing in Pokemon where it's a little more on the textured side. And you can see what the back looks like. Awesome. Yeah, I knew I wanted to get one of these boxes, even just for one of these promo cards here. But really, if you wanna, um, you know, if you're open to spending just a hair more money, the uh, booster boxes for this classic collection set I've seen is actually going for only like 40 or $50 on eBay. And so that's actually a much better value. And you know, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to see me open up one of those in an upcoming video. Cause I think that would also be pretty fun. Get to open up more of these packs. And we got the little, I forget what they call it, Digi device or I forget exactly. But they got the uh, pixelated Agumon in there. Very cool. On top of these things, which who knows what these even are. Something to do with the game, I'm assuming. All right, we've talked enough about that. Let's go ahead and get into our packs. And with War Greymon featured on the front. I just always thought that this anime was very unique. I thought, um, to be honest, I actually liked the anime uh, for Digimon better than the Pokemon anime. But of course, I loved the card game and the uh, the Game Boy games way better for for uh, Pokemon. But but yeah, these uh, this uh, show was actually pretty cool, a very unique concept for a kids show, I thought. But here we go. Let's get into it with Alecmon. I do remember this guy. Very cool. I feel like he was like protecting like the babies in like a little village. Nice, Andromon. Everything is something mon. Lukemon. Togemon. One of the main first evolutions for one of the main uh, monsters. We got Kuramon. 
Ooh, X V Mon. That's cool. I feel like this one was from like the season two, where they had like some of like the uh, the younger brothers and sisters of some of the original characters and some other younger characters as well. B O Mon. Wiz uh, Wizard Mon. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they almost had like a lot of them had like this like gothic look, especially to the the bad guys. So I thought that was always interesting. <laughs> Metal Edamon. I remember Edamon was always a really strange character. Oh, there we go. We got Agumon, the main Mon himself. Okay. Next with Piedmon. Man, this was one of the the really bad guys. I remember that. Fight your for your pride. Fight for your pride. I think this has some maybe hollow to it. I believe so. And ending off on something else. Ooh, Anjouman. Nice. I feel like this was um, an evolution of maybe Gatomon. I think. Very nice. They've, there's Anjouman and there's Anjouman. Nice little Digimon waifu right there. And since this one's shiny, I guess we'll stick a sleeve on that as well. All right, next, here we go. Who knows, maybe I'll just do a little master set for this classic collection. I don't anticipate me getting way into Digimon, but you never know. It's pretty cool. Palmon, another from the main ones. Anjumon, just talking about him evolved from Patamon. I do remember some of these names. Tapirmon, I don't remember him. Ooh, Megadramon. That guy's crazy. Super cool. And yeah, yeah, that was always the cool part that I, I liked is like it was this mixture of these monsters with like machinery in a lot of cases. Oh, Devamon, the first bad guy in the series. He was definitely creepy. Ikakumon. Anyway, Dino Beamon, Boltmon, Lady Devimon. I don't think I remember that one either. Ooh, and so we got a little reverse hollow, maybe. I'm guessing that's what these are. And that's for Vmon, which again, I think that one was a uh, one from like a second generation, the second season of Digimon. And ending off on Sa uh, Seraphimon. Nice. I know we're definitely taking our time with this just because it's my first experience with these cards, but you know, if you're not into this, no worries. Feel free and skip ahead to the Pokemon opening. So we'll definitely open up some Pokemon today. All right, another Palmon. Gardramon. Gumamon. Okay, that was the one that evolves to Ikakumon. Ooh, Metal Tyranamon. That guy is crazy. He's like half dinosaur, half machine. Stingmon, uh, Demi Devamon, Metal Mamamon, Edamon, again that crazy guy, Plesiomon, Rosemon, and Pale Dramon. And this is our one of our hollows or reverse hollows, whichever it is. Oh, whoops, and and off on. Tyranamon. So yeah, if you happen to collect the cards as a kid, you should recognize a lot of these artworks. Now let's get on to our fourth and final pack here. Another Anjaman. Always the coolest one. Hagarurumon. Tentamon. Tapirimon. Gardramon. Zudomon, Salomon, Gatomon, 
Kabuterimon, Bergermon. I feel like I did have a copy of this card growing up. Okay, Infermon. Kind of a creepy guy there. And, okay, win rate 60%, which this is kind of cool. Features the different evolutions. You got Metal Greymon right there and War Greymon right next to him. So yeah, it's safe to say that we are completely converting this channel from Pokemon channel into a Digimon channel. Just kidding, but you know, that was enjoyable for me. Hope you guys enjoy it to some extent. And uh, let me know if you'd like to see me open up some more in the future. But guys, we also have some mail here from Whatnot, and so we are opening up some Pokemon cards today. Whatnot, as you may recall, is an app featuring live streamed auctions where you can bid on Pokemon cards and often get some great deals. So make sure you use my link in the description below to get a $10 credit towards your first purchase on there. Looks like we got some different cards for seven, two, and one. Very cool. Let's see what they are in this nice plastic rack here. All right, starting off with one that no doubt is one of the $1 cards, I think. We have Goop Gas Attack, which is from Team Rocket which is one that we'll be collecting and adding to our master set. Very nice. And I'm guessing this might've been a lot because I see several in here, but got the boss's way. And by the way, these are first edition, which is pretty cool as well. I don't really know what to do if, you know, if that, is that kind of weird to include a few first edition in a master set, even though you're just kind of going after it unlimited? Let me know in the comments below. I don't wanna, you know, be inconsistent, but at the same time, the, if you can get a first edition, it's better than not, right? Transparent wall, got a wheezing in the background there. Yeah, this is great that we got some first edition Team Rocket trainers. Next up, we have Dark Vaporeon, another great card from the Team Rocket set. I don't believe they have this one in a hollow version, which is a shame because the EVs are Definitely deserving of that. Pretty near mint. Maybe light play is a little whitening over there. It's hard to tell if you consider that whitening. Yeah, maybe a little bit. It's like very, uh, very tiny. But yeah, just admire the artwork for a moment. And we'll get a sleeve back on Vaporeon there. I love those dark Pokemon. All right, next up we have Muck from Fossil. Not necessarily everybody's favorite Pokemon, but one that we need anyway for our Fossil set. And the front's looking pretty good. Pretty minimal, if any, scratching. I see possibly a print line, but I don't think it's a scratch. All right, a little bit of wear there at the top on the front. Some silvering on the side there. But on the back, just a little bit of whitening. I'd probably call this a light play card, so that's totally fine for my collection. All right, and lastly, looks like we got the non-hollow Dark Alakazam. Another amazing artwork from Ken Sugimori. Yeah, just a great card, great artwork. Condition looking pretty great. A few white spots, but probably near mint. Awesome. Well, if I didn't say it already, definitely check out Whatnot and uh, take advantage of my link where you can get a $10 credit towards your purchase on there. All right, but now it's time to get into our mini tins. Again, I believe these are called the Kanto Friends tins. They, I think they have some other artworks, maybe featuring Charmander. And Bulbasaur, I would assume, or maybe Pikachu. Yeah, I think there's a Pikachu one. But yeah, love these artworks. Let's see what packs we have inside. I'm super interested to find out. Oh yeah, I love that. That has a Magikarp on there as well. What we have is a little artwork thing on top of, oh man, oh no, oh no. Vivid Voltage and Darkness Ablaze. Okay, well. It is what it is, guys. I'm a little, little disappointed. I really was hoping for something older, like maybe Burning Shadows or something like that. But what are you gonna do? 
that's okay. We definitely will open up our Darkness Ablaze pack. We'll, you know, set aside our Vivid Voltage pack because I'm just kind of over that set at this point. Here we go. Code card for you. Oops, geez, okay. Well, toss that psychic energy, as they say. Goodbye. All right, Staravia, Shino, Tick, Flaffy, Torchic, A.A. Ron, Rookie D, Wishy Washy, Pan Sage, Dunsparce, and a Minectric. Okay. Oh man, so it it does appear that they have repackaged these with completely different packs than they originally had. So yeah, for these tends to be out, you know, three years ago. Yeah, they definitely didn't have Vivid Voltage in them. But you know, I guess I shouldn't be surprised because, you know, they did the same thing with those, um, the Galare Power Tins that we also saw on the hunt today. And those ones, they didn't used to contain Cosmic Eclipse, but they do uh, in the most recent versions of them. So anyway, we'll just kind of roll through these last few cards here, because I wouldn't mind getting a Charizard from Darkness Ablaze. But from Vivid Voltage, there's really nothing that I'm really chasing myself. Vanillite. Pupitar and a Wigglytuff, which is no decent artwork. Man, guys, I feel like if I could, I would probably return these <laughs> to Walmart, but I don't think Walmart takes returns for Pokemon cards, which I get because I always see people like opening up packs and just right in the store, so. Obviously, people are gonna do that sort of stuff and then return it and say that it's brand new, but I will say Target does let you return Pokemon cards, which I've done once or twice. All right, Darkness Ablaze. And if you're wondering, you know, what I try to do is just kind of sell those uh, other packs, the Vivid Voltage and everything, the ones that I don't really want to open and, uh, you know, give people a fair price for it. Just because, you know, you can make some money back just to be able to open up stuff that you actually want to open. But I have had a few of you just kind of uh, say I should go ahead and just open up every single one here on the channel, which would be kind of interesting. It would be crazy if there's like a Rainbow Pikachu just in one of those packs but also highly unlikely because I've seen how many packs most people open and they don't get anything. Speaking of not getting anything, all right. Well, I guess it's good that we had some Digimon and some other fun stuff to open today because this is a, a little bit brutal. And you're wondering, like, did the Pokemon company repackage these or did a company like MJ Holdings repackage these? I'm sure if the Pokemon company did it, then, you know, they're bound to be kind of fair as far as maybe being able to pull something from each tin, but if it's just a bunch of random stuff, like stuff from a booster box, the chances are kind of low. Here we go. Forward to the front, here we go with the fighting energy. Bird Keeper, Steeny, Furret. Diglett, Squovit, Shelmet, Pampor, Rookie D, Poltergeist, and Diggers B. <sighs> well, guys, it's unfortunate, but I'm here to take one for the team for you guys so you know, uh, you know you can make an informed decision about whether or not you actually want to purchase these if you see them in stores. But, you know, even though the Pokemon opening wasn't as fun, I do love to get some new vintage cards to add to my collection and i did personally have a lot of fun opening up some digimon today hope you guys enjoyed it as well 
Well, if you like Pokemon card hunts, I think you'll want to check out one of these videos on screen next. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel. And lastly, I want to let you know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. I'll catch you next time.